Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, July 8th, 2019. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Well, we have an area of low pressure around the Delmarva Peninsula, right about here, and we have another one over West Virginia, and these low pressure systems along a stalled cold front are producing periods of showers this morning, and some of these showers are producing some pretty heavy downpours reducing visibility below four miles in some cases now these showers will move through the region this morning producing the potential for some minor to moderate ponding on the roadways and also some localized flash flooding so definitely keep an eye out for that but these showers are also going to keep the temperatures pretty cool today with highs only in the mid to upper 70s this morning we have temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior and upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast for the most part. Again, those heavier downpours and some cloud cover will linger on through this morning, clearing as you head towards this afternoon. But by the time we get to this afternoon, temperatures will only rebound into the mid to upper 70s. When we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see pretty good lifting here, setting up here with a nice little cluster of storms around the Delmarva with our developing low pressure system. And then you can see the other area of colder cloud tops with our heavier downpours that's all approaching the coast here. This will all clear out by this afternoon, and by this afternoon, look for sky cloud cover and clear skies by the evening. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, our low pressure system passes off to the south. Look for showers this morning, clearing skies in the afternoon, highs in the mid to upper 70s. For tonight, high pressure takes hold. Look for light winds coming in from the north and lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s throughout the region of course the lighter the winds and the clearer the skies the more of those temperatures will fall for tomorrow afternoon look for clear skies light winds highs in the mid to upper 80s and on wednesday high pressure starts to exit look for more of a southwesterly wind a bit of an increase in humidity look for lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s and highs in the mid 80s to lower 90s your best chance for 90s will be towards the philadelphia metro now on thursday a warm front will approach but i'm keeping the rainfall held off until the late evening hours look for increasing cloud cover with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 60s for lows and mid 80s to lower 90s for highs on Friday, that warm front moves through in the morning with periods of showers and a few thunderstorms. The cold front follows in the afternoon with thunderstorms. So it's going to be a rather stormy day on Friday. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s for lows and highs in the mid to upper 80s, possibly a few lower 90s if we get a little bit of clearing between the warm front and the cold front approaching from the west. But it's going to be a close call. On Saturday, Another weak cold front will move through with an isolated thunderstorm, but for the most part, looking for sky cloud cover. Lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid 80s to lower 90s. On Sunday, another weak cold front will follow with again a threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the mid 80s to lower 90s. And on Monday, another pesky cold front with another threat for a few isolated thunderstorms. Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the mid 80s to lower 90s. So the overall theme, once we get past today, is basically a summer-like pattern with a few weak cold fronts moving through here and there. Your best chance for rainfall after today will be Friday. And then next weekend, pretty much what you would expect for the summer. A bit muggy out there, no extreme heat, but temperatures right around 90 degrees. With humidity, we make it feel more like the mid-90s, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we go to the beach or jump in the pool. Now, if you're interested in more in-depth weather discussion or you have questions for your meteorologist, well, you can just sign up for a subscription, $11 a month, not bad. Or you can sign up for a full year for or just $80 per year, it renews automatically. And what you get with that is your ability to email me or text me questions at any time and also in-depth discussions everything from tropical weather that might be brewing to the latest long-range analysis and also you learn a bit about meteorology and atmospheric science overall with that and also if you're just interested in picking up a mug or maybe getting a t-shirt where you could do that as well at our weather shop which shows up right on top right here see store right there so definitely you can pick up a mug or a t-shirt. I already have several and I love my mug. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.